Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about the lithium ion battery. So this is nothing but our Nokia mobile, Android mobile. So in this Android mobile, what kind of battery is used and what are the specifications of this lithium ion battery specifications of an Nokia mobile. So everyone knows this is an uh, Nokia mobile, 5G mobile, where it consists of an battery. When you see the specifications clearly, here you can understand that uh, this is of the rating of this battery is 2000. The rating of this battery is uh, 2500 milliampere hour. It is can be rated in ampere hour or it can be rated in watt hour when you multiply it with the voltage. This is 9.2 watt hour. So this you can simplify 2500 into 10 to the power minus 3 AH. So you are going to get as 2.5 AH rated battery. If you multiply we the same with 4. Okay. So this is nothing but 2.5 into 4. You are going to get approximately uh, 9.5 AH rated. So that's how we can rate the rating of a mobile of a battery in ampere hour or in watt hour. Now let us try to see what are the specifications of this battery. Okay, The rated voltage is 3.8 volts and charging voltage is uh, 4.35 volts and watt hour it is going to offer is 9.5 watt hour and in terms of ampere hour it is going to offer as 2.5 AH. Let us try to see one by one specification. The first specification is the specific energy offered by this Nokia mobile, specific energy. So what is this specific energy? Energy means we can write down it as watt hour, specific means per kg. <coughs> per kg of weight of Nokia mobile, per kg weight of battery weight, what is the watt hour? It is nothing but specific energy offered. This ranges from 100 to 265 watt hour is the energy per specific per kg per kg weight of battery what is the energy storage offered by this battery is 100 to 265 next what is the energy density offered by this battery energy density so density means we represent with respect to metric cube energy we represent with respect to watt hour ultimately the units are watt hour by metric cube so this is nothing but the energy stored in a battery for an volume of metric cube and this ranges from 250 to 693 watt hour by meter cube. So this is the amount of energy stored by the battery for a volume of a meter cube. So that is the second parameter. Next one is the specific power offered by this battery. So the specific power offered by this battery it ranges from 250 so power can be written as watt specific is with respect to kg so this we can write down it as a power stored per weight of 1 kg so we can write down this as the specific power ranges from 250 to 340 watt per kg is the amount of power stored by the battery per weight of 1 kg so this is all about the specific power of the battery. Next one coming to the charge or discharge efficiency. So what is the efficiency of this battery? The efficiency of this battery it varies from 90, 80 to 90 percentage. So this ampere hour efficiency of the battery can write it as ampere hour rating of a battery while our it is uh, discharging to the ampere hour rating of a battery in the case of charging. So for example, I want to get it as uh, some 0 0.9. So I can write down this as 9 AH divided by 10 AH. So you can understand it is discharging only 9 AH and it is charging up to 10 AH. So therefore 9 by 10 is 0 0.9. So this is multiplied with 100 automatic two decimals will come like this 
efficiency offered by this uh, battery. So, all these are the specifications of this battery and how it is offering. So, the efficiency offered by this battery is 90 percentage. And coming to the next property, which is nothing but self discharge rate. So, what is this self discharge rate? The battery, if the this mobile, this Nokia mobile is not used for a long time. So, automatically this discharges of its own. So, self means own. So, the mobile itself discharges of its own due to its uh, internal chemical equation or due to its internal chemistry or internal chemicals, it discharges of its own whenever it is not used for longer time. So, what is this uh, discharge rate of this uh, mobile phone? Okay. So, the discharge rate of this mobile phone ranges from so 2.5 percentage per month okay for example you buy a so you buy this uh, mobile phone and you kept the charging for 100 percentage okay so now this battery zero percentage state of charge now the battery is fully charged I am claiming this fully charged as the state of charge is 100 percentage and this mobile is not used for an one month. Therefore, automatically in 100 percentage 100 minus 2.5. So, 100 minus 2.5 this will replicate approximately as 97.5 percentage. Now, it is not used for one month. What is the last 2.5 percentage? Now, what is the amount of charging available in this battery? Is 97.5 percentage the charging available in the battery? So that's how the battery is getting self discharge or own discharge since it is not used for the longer time. So this is all about the self discharge rate of the battery. And coming to the next one, which is nothing but life cycles so what are the life cycles offered by this but very very important it varies from 1100 cycles to 3000 cycles so basically a base scale mobile will work for 400 to 1200 cycles okay this all about mobile if you discuss about electric it will be different so 365 days for example per day we are charging only one time per day we are charging one time then i am considering it as one cycle so per day we are charging our mobile 0 to 100 percentage and we are discharging the same mobile to reach zero so per day i am charging the mobile for how many times one time so i am charging and i am discharging so per day i am using only one cycle of the battery so like that so if you use properly so 365 days is there. So, 365 days means we can consider this as uh, approximately 1 point if you take uh, uh, 365 plus uh, 2 months, 2 months means 60 which will obstruct or 1 month uh, maximum 13 months it may work perfectly which is nothing but uh, 13 months the battery can happily work. So, 1200 means so you can take it as uh, 365 into 365 into 3 approximately 1200 okay or approximately you can take it as three years okay so here this may be operated for 12 one year or three years one year to three years or it may be having 3.2 months three years two months so this is all about the life cycle so if you buy a new nokia mobile like this okay new nokia mobile like this don't think it will work for 100 years okay maximum lifespan it is designed for maximum uh, 13 months or it ranges from the way you charge per day if you charge per daily if you charge two times automatically it will work for only one and a half year so if you use as per life cycle it may work for three years okay that is about the life cycle of the battery so next parameter you have to understand is uh, nominal cell voltage so what is the nominal cell voltage already told the nominal cell voltage of this battery is 3.8 volts so it is nothing but 3.8 volts and nowadays these batteries like are coming with uh, lithium ferrous phosphate batteries which are nothing but uh, fireproof batteries fire 
proof i mean these batteries doesn't catch any fire so that's why these batteries are very powerful in nowadays is nothing but lfb batteries so this is all about the specifications of a lithium ion battery which is used in a nokia mobile so specific energy energy density specific power efficiency self discharge rate and life cycle and nominal voltage so if you are watching the channel for the first time please subscribe the channel and if you feel the content is really useful you and one like and share the content with your friends and if you have any comments let me know in the comment section and this is a free channel which is for the support of students please like and support this sort of free channel yours faithfully ram we'll meet in the next video regarding all about battery so now we learn today about how this battery parameters are there or specifications of this battery thank you for watching we'll meet in the next video